Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. But first, a thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love the interaction and feedback. I was asked to create what I'm calling a floating uh, KPI box, where you can see there's labels of the KPI that you have on the left and the values on the right. This happens to be amount uh, balance due. So this is one to three months, three to six. And I'm gonna show you how you how you create this. This is actually a vertical container with five horizontal containers loaded inside it. So I'm gonna open up another dashboard. And on the left hand down here, I'm gonna to change to floating because I wanna be able to move this around. And I'm gonna bring a vertical container in. Now, when I'm working with containers, I find that it's helpful to just grab a blank and drop a blank inside the container. And that's not gonna work because I now need to show it as tiled. The other option is you could just select shift and drop it in. So now I've got a vertical container with a horizontal box. I'm now going to bring in a horizontal container and you can see where it's gonna go based on where it highlights. I wanna stick this at the top. And now I'm gonna grab my do current. You can see that's the horizontal container. So now I'm gonna drop it in there. And then I'm gonna drop a blank in there as well. This is gonna be kind of a placeholder. So you can see what's happening. There's a horizontal container here. And I'm just gonna repeat that, bring the horizontal container again. I'm gonna bring in one to three months and drop in a blank for now. Just I'm just gonna keep repeating that. Bring in three to six months. There's nothing in there, so you can see it's just dropping. I'm bringing in the blank. Where do I want it? I want it on the left. Now you'll notice that things are kind of screwy in terms of the labels and the header, I mean the, the filters over here, and that's fine for right now. We're just trying to get everything on the in the, the container, and then we'll go back through and do some cleanup. Dropping this in and bringing in the space. Final one, horizontal, and bring in the plus 12, and bring in the blank. So now we've got a lot. It's It doesn't look like much right now. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add text, because these are gonna be the labels that I have. So I'm gonna bring in text, and now I'm just gonna say a do current, and I'm gonna try and make this a little, I know that the size was 15, I'm gonna make it bold, and I'm actually gonna just, now I'm gonna speed through this as I update all these other ones. You'll see that this is kind of screwy, don't worry about that. I'm gonna fast forward through this so you can see what's, so you can get to the good stuff. All right, so now we have all the text there. Now we need to go through, gonna hide all the titles. Now, what you, if you hover over it, now we can also actually get go through and delete all these boxes, all these blank spots. And what we've got is we got a horizontal bar all the way across, but you'll notice that that's slightly different depending on, on the value and the text. What we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and change that for all of these by right clicking. We're gonna edit the width for this box. And that says 225, let's just cut it down 125. Too much. It's a little bit of trial and error. Let's try 150. All right, so now we're gonna go through and we're gonna do the same thing for each of these boxes. This is one of the things I like about using containers versus tiled. Uh, with the tiled, you just grab it and move it, but this gives you a little more precise and you can tell, you, tell the Tableau exactly what you wanna see. Now what you'll see is there's a big gap down here. We're gonna to wanna to get rid of that. And we'll just go ahead. This is the blank we initially put on. So we're gonna just remove that from the dashboard. And you still see if you click on there, there's a bunch of hash marks that tells you that there's nothing there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come through here and we're going to make this 
uh, we're going to fit the entire. You can try the width. That's a good start. And actually, maybe let's try with that. Now, the reason this works is because when I was building this first one, I went through and under the text, changed the alignment to center. Otherwise, if you have it as automatic, it may be to the far right. And so you need to go through and change that to centered. Now, the next thing I did was come in here. I'm going to change the coloring. And you're going to do that to come to the layout. I'm going to change the background to the bottom blue. And go do that with all of these. And what you'll notice um, is there's a little bit of a white all the way around it. You may like that, you may not. Uh, I'm going to actually end up getting rid of it because the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to add borders to both of these um, elements. Now what you'll see here is there's something screwy going on and that's because this one fit the width. This one doesn't have a value. We're going to look at how you handle that on a different video. But now we're going to just go through and put borders around all of these boxes. All right, so we have borders around all of these, but it doesn't look that great. There's two things. One, we have all the spacing. This is called, this is the, if you come over here and look at this outer padding, that's what that outer padding is. So the Tableau allows you to make some auto um, spacing. What I'm gonna do, when I'm doing something like this where you want it to match up exactly, I'm gonna get rid of all of it, change it all to zero. Now what you're gonna find is when you do that, when you have borders, it the single line shows up twice. You don't have it exactly on each other. But you'll see what I mean as I go through here. Okay, there we go. Now we still, you see that there's still a uh, little bit. This is for the scroll up or scroll down. The way we get rid of it in this case is we're going to come here, instead of fitting it, we're going to just say fit width, we're going to do fit entire view. As we come through here, we're going to fit entire view. And it's getting rid of the, the little scroll bars. And the one thing there's something weird going on here. And I think that is because I don't have a fit height. I mean a set height. So what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that the, the, the height is the same across all of them. So in this case, I've, I'm selecting just this container here. And if you come down here, you'll notice that it just allows you to fix the width. When you have a horizontal container, it just allows you to fix the width of the, the cell. If you want to change the height, you actually have to change the whole container. I guess I was just picking the one item. We need to select the whole container. And we're going to show you can't use it. You can't see, but I'm showing with my fingers going up and down. We're going to set the height on this. And we're going to set that to, we're going to set that to 50. And we'll come in here, select the horizontal container, and we're going to set this to 50. Now remember what's happening is these other ones are not fixed, and so they're trying to fill in the space for the entire container. And we're going to fix that here in a second. The other thing to notice is you look down here, there's under the layout, you see here's the vertical container. And then under that, you have all these various horizontal containers. And so what you can do is you can actually just come to here and say horizontal, and we're going to fix the height to 50. 
just check and fix the height here. So that's another way of approaching it. So now we have the height is fixed on all of these. You can see that. And now you see that there's a little bit of a gap here. Uh, to just make it clean, what I like to do is come under here and just change the height for that entire vertical. And what do you change it to? Well, you've got, these are all at 50. So it would be 250 would get rid of that extra gap. And where that's important is if you were to put a, a box around the entire container or make the entire container a particular color. And so now you click on the vertical container and now you can move the whole thing to wherever you want. And like I said, I had three, two or th I actually had four of these. And so you can able to line them up based on the X or Y position. Oh, and then we got to, of course, come through here and get rid of these. These are auto created. And you'll notice down here, there's another container, horizontal container. Oh, there's a horizontal container. One is for the legends or the filters and the other is for the main information. What you can do is you can just come in here you can remove from the remove the container. We're going to remove the from dashboard. Yes. All right. That's more than you wanted to know. Now you can move that wherever and you've got your floating KPI box. I hope you'll check out these other cool videos that I've selected for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below.